Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to CSS3 in 30 days. Today is day number 23 and we're going to be building a CSS3 accordion. This is what I'm talking about over here. An accordion is simply grouping of elements and content and typically uh, how an accordion would work is that when you click on say a tab, that content expands. And if you clicked on a different tab, that content expands and it contracts the other or retracts the other content. Now, typically this would be built in jQuery or JavaScript, but the fun thing about this is that this is built exclusively in CSS3. Now there is a little bit of a limitation here and perhaps I challenge you to find a way around it with exclusive CSS3. When you open an accordion item, if I click on this item again, it doesn't close it. And that is because of the limitation of using CSS in this case. Perhaps that's not a big issue for you. If you wanna leave all of the content open at once, perhaps there's a different workaround, but the way that we build it today, it's quite simple and it will allow you to build an accordion very quickly in your own websites, displaying content, displaying services, or whatever it is that you want to use for an accordion. So let's jump in and get started. Over here in my code editor, I have day number 23, CSS3 accordion opened up. Give yourself a moment to download those and open it up in your favorite code editor, and then open up your index and sandbox.css. Of course, as always, final.css is available for your reference. And let me show you the index html first this is the markup in our sandbox here under the level 4 heading we have a div with the class of accordion and then a div with the class in within that of accordion double underscore item and then we have an a tag with uh, an href uh, that that uh, navigates to an anchor tab one and then a class a couple classes in fact simply for styling and then we have a div with the idea of tab one and the class of accordion content. And then there's two other identical setups just with tab two and tab three. Now what happens here is when we click this, this link, it navigates the browser down to this, so it's an anchor, and then it navigates it down to this div. So this is looking for tab one, the idea of tab one, it pops down to tab one. And you can see that when you just click on the base markup here. So if I click on accordion one, it pops to that content right there. Accordion 2, it pops to that content. Accordion 3, pops to that content. And that's the default functionality. In the final version, it doesn't do that. We're going to be using that as uh, a way to animate and display this content. So that's how the markup is set up. Let's jump into our sandbox and get styling. Now, a lot of this styling is going to be uh, just, I guess, cosmetic the functionality of hiding and showing it is actually quite simple and you'll see that in a moment, but we're gonna make it look a little bit better because why not? So let's style just accordion, position relative, display block, background color, we're gonna make it white, and then border, solid one pixel, and then to go EO, EO, EO. All right, so now we're gonna say accordion, double underscore item, display block and that means we're styling this entire item here so it's this whole piece so there's the accordion which wraps everything and then there's accordion item which wraps the entire item within there and then there's more elements so we're going to display that block and we're going to say accordion and then accordion content and then we're going to go display block Padding zero, height, this is important, zero, we're hiding it. And we're gonna say overflow hidden. So we're hiding any of the overflow because there will be an overflow. When we say height zero, the element's gonna contract, uh, the element's gonna have zero height, but the text should will be overflowing outside of that element. So we want to hide that content when it overflows outside of its height. And then we're gonna say transition, uh, we're just going to transition the height, 0 0.5 seconds, ease, and we're also going to transition the padding at 0 0.3 seconds and linear, because why not? Let's just see what that does once we get to it. So if we save that and check it out, you can see now that we're starting to 
show that, uh, you know, we're, we're hiding the content and we're starting to get some base styles here. So let's make it look a bit nicer. Um, we're going to select the accordion and then the accordion content and the paragraphs within there. We're just going to give the whole paragraph a padding of 20 pixels and zero margin. Very simple. We don't need to review that style. And then we're going to select the accordion, the accordion content, and then target. So what this means is when we click on this A with the target or the anchor, whatever you want to call it, let's call it target of tab one, it's looking for this. So this is the target element of this once we click here. So we're going to style this when that action is performed is essentially what that's saying. Because if I were just to style this, it's just going to style the content. But when I do this, it's actually going to match it once it's been a target of that click. And you'll see how that works. We're going to say height 150 pixels, so a hard coded height. So it's going to go to that height. Right now it's at zero, accordion content is. When we click that link, and now it's uh, we're basically activating this, this selector, the target, it's going to actually make that height 150 pixels. And because we have a transition, on the height, it's going to animate down. Let's just see if that works. So there we go, I'm clicking on accordion one, two, and three. And so really we just made the accordion, it's done. That functionality ha is complete. You can see how quite, how quite simple that was. However, I wanna make this look nice and use a few more minutes just to make this a little bit more pretty. So let's style the accordion and then the accordion trigger. We're going to say text decoration none. So that's the link. We're going to remove that text decoration so it doesn't really look like a link. We're going to select the accordion and then the accordion title. Position relative. Display block. Margin zero. Padding 10 pixels. Font size 1M background color or background double zero b3 b4 uh, color white border solid one pixel three seven nine double a four let's see what that looks like so far so that's going to be that whole title there we go so we've got that teal color in the background with a border but i want to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional in each of those elements. So we're gonna do that with some box shadow. So I'm gonna say box shadow, zero, one pixel, zero, RGBA, 255, 255, 255, and then 0 0.5, and then inset. So save that. If I left it at that, it would look a little bit like this. So we've got that white, highlight at the very top as if there's a light source shining down from the top angle. But I also want more to it. I want to give a, um, let me see here. I want to have a border on the bottom and around it. So there's actually gonna be quite a bit more here. So let's put a comma here. You can add more box shadows within the same value, within the same, after the property, you can add multiple values. Zero, negative one pixels, zero RGBA, 255, 255, 255, and 0.1, and also inset. So that will look a little bit like this. Well, you can't even really see it. Let's just make it a hard-coded like yellow so you can see where that is. So down here, we're going to have another highlight down at the bottom. So let's change it back to 255. And, and if I made it a little bit more visible, you'd see the white line at the bottom. Now we don't really like that. I want it more subtle. So maybe let's try something like, I think 0.1 is good. Super, super subtle. It just adds a little bit of depth to it, a little bit of a, of a highlight at the bottom. Remember the light source looks like it's coming from the top. So I don't want to confuse your eyes and have multiple light sources. I guess it doesn't matter. It's up to you. 
And now I'm going to say another comma, 0, 4 pixels, 0, and then 3, 3, 8, 8, 9, 4. That's going to be a shadow on the outside at the bottom of the title there. So it's a thick, darker line. Now the reason why we did this previous one, this gentle highlight, is to give a little bit of depth to that thick shadow on the bottom. So it looks like it's a box coming out. And you can see if I made that just a little bit lighter, you could see that line there. Now that doesn't look as good. So I kind of still like my original decision of point 0.1. Super subtle. Cool. All right. Now the next one, we're going to do one more box shadow. Zero, four pixels, two pixels, RGBA, zero, 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 zero point five. And that was going to give us an, a shadow around the element altogether. So each of them kind of just pop. Now what we're going to do is when we hover, there's more to it here. So we're going to say accordion, accordion, double underscore title, and then hover. We're going to say background color is going to be OBBFC0. That will look a little bit like this. So it just highlights it a little bit. Nice usability, little feature there. Now we're going to do one last thing. Just a couple more styles here. I want an arrow at the far right hand side. Now instead of going to Photoshop and creating one and then creating a retina version of it and all that sort of stuff, we just want this done in CSS. We want it done quickly. And we're just going to use a convention that we've already used in, in past videos of using borders to create a triangle. Okay, so let's say accordion and then accordion title after. And now we're going to say position absolute. Uh, of course, it needs to be content, empty string. We're going to give it a, uh, let's see, right of 20 pixels. So in 20 pixels from the right, the width is going to be seven pixels, height seven pixels. So pretty small arrow. Border left, two pixels on a solid two pixels, white. Border bottom, solid two pixels white. Let's see what that looks like so far. Okay, so we've just got the left side, the left border and the bottom border of a square. Now, as you can see, all we need to do is just rotate it a little bit, 45 degrees, and then position it a little bit down in the center vertically. We're just gonna say transform and rotate and negative 45 degrees, that will bring it counterclockwise. That's right, that's what we want. Save that, there we go. That looks amazing. And now we need that to be down further. So we're gonna use the, we're gonna go top. So up here in your right, so we're gonna say top. If I said 50%, it's going to be too far because it's 50% from the top of the border which is actually like right up here. So this whole thing is about this size. So it's actually 50% from, I think it looks like it's 50% from there. Yeah, so it's 50% from there actually. And we need it up probably about seven. Maybe let's try, let's do this calc because we want 50% and a pixel value. So let's try that minus seven pixels. So it looks like it's too far up. So I want to bring it down just a bit more. So I'll say five pixels. That looks centered to me. That's it. There's our CSS3 accordion right there. And now it should work just fine. There's our CSS3 accordion. Uh, like I said, a lot of this was cosmetic. We we're just playing around with the styles, but that's what CSS is for after all. Uh, the functionality of displaying the content using that target uh, selector was quite simple. It was just a few lines of CSS and that's it to create a CSS re accordion. Uh, I hope this gave you some ideas for your own websites, applications, and so on and so forth. Thanks for joining me in day number 23. Hang tight. Day number 24 is coming at you tomorrow. Bye now.